Question. Answer. Hey guys, today I'm getting a haircut. You know Jeffrey, you guys all know Jeffrey. And I'm gonna do a haircut Q&A. First question, it's from Instagram. It's from AbbyRS12. She says, what keeps you motivated to do your vlogs, except your fans, AKA us, Ily. Okay, what keeps me motivated? The reason I do my vlogs every single day is not only for you guys, but for me, because I get to document my life every single day, and it's like a little diary, but a futuristic diary where I can go back and look, what did I do that day? Did I go and do my admin? Did I go acting today? Did I go to my acting class? Did I go on auditions? Um, and it really keeps me motivated because I also get to finish something every single day. I think that's a really important part of of everyone's day is that you need to finish something. Um, if you're not finishing things, then you're not a closer, and, you, and closers are winners. So I think I'm finishing every single day and just being productive, and then that's what really keeps me motivated to keep going and making a vlog every single day. All right, Charlie on Twitter asks, what color would you dye your hair if you could dye any color? Okay, so if I wasn't an actor, no, okay, if I was an actor, I'm an actor, so maybe someday I'll get to dye my hair a really awesome color for a role or something. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I think blue would be cool. Yeah, like a skunk blue, like right down the middle. <laughs> that would be dope, something like that. But as of right now, I'm not allowed to. I'd probably get killed because I can't go to auditions with just random hair or anything. So yeah, blue, definitely blue. You know blue is like the most popular color for guys, Jeffrey? Yeah, for the hair. <laughs> Well, enough for anything. Like, if you ask guys what's their favorite color, it's blue. Destiny asks, when will you go to Texas for a meet and greet? I actually was just in Texas from Warner Brothers doing a, what is it called, an industrial. So hopefully I get to go back to Texas soon. I love Texas, I love the barbecue, I love the food. Everyone's beautiful there, everything's bigger, it's true. I want a smoothie ass. What is your favorite Disney movie? Jeffrey, what's your favorite Disney movie? Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, that's a very avant-garde Disney movie. If you haven't seen it yet, it's a good one. Uh, my favorite Disney movie, I'd say Finding Nemo because they say Marlin in it, and I'm an actor. <laughs> I, like to, I like to hear my name a lot. So yeah, his name is Marlin. Patrick Takumi asks, name an event in your life that you'll never forget. Okay, so my first audition, Jeffrey does have a point, I won't forget my first audition. For Skype, Microsoft Skype, I didn't know what I was doing. I just know I had to go in there and just try it, try to do whatever. And um, it was an audition for Skype, and I didn't know what we had to do at all when we got in. But he was like, okay, come in, say your name. So I came in, I was like, hey, I'm Marlon. Then he brought in like two other, three other people. It was like a guy and a girl. And then um, I, we did our stuff, it, it went, I think it went okay, I don't know, I was really nervous. Then I got a call back. It was crazy because I didn't even know what I was doing my first my first audition ever, I get a call back. So I'm like, okay, maybe I could do something here. Um, and then I go to the call back and it's the same girl, two of the, the, the same guy, and uh, we go in and there's now there's like a ton of people, there's like a couch full of people. Like, before it was just this cool guy, and he made me feel comfortable and stuff. This time there's like 10 people, I'm not kidding you, there's like people on couches like on their laptops, and I was like, what are these people? They're not even paying attention to me. There's some people that are just like looking at me and they're looking away, so I was like, I don't know what's going on. Now I feel even more nervous, and I, they, uh, they make me stand in front of them, and they're like, okay, who's gonna be the boyfriend to this girl? And they're like, okay, he's gonna be the boyfriend. So they give me, I'm like, I'm gonna be the boyfriend, like me? <laughs> I was like, me? That's my girlfriend? Okay. In my head, I'm like, really? Okay, cool. And then I was I was still really nervous. The girl's really pretty. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and then we had to have a fake Skype conversation. What were you doing? <laughs> I don't know, yeah. I mean, like, what did you have to do for the audition? We had, we had to do a fake Skype audition. So we had to like Skype each other, me and my girlfriend did. And then we did this whole improv about Skype. And that's like my one of my like second improvs in my life. So I was just improving, talking to this girl, and then we're talking about camping and all this stuff. And then I put my arm around her. I don't know why I tried to put my arm around her because like that's what I'm supposed to do, right? That's my girlfriend. <laughs> I put my arm around her, but it was like the awkward arm. It wasn't like the full arm around her. It was like my arm was hanging off of her shoulder a little bit. Because <laughs> like this girl's pretty, so my arm's like hovering above her. Um, and then, yeah, they never call me back, so I don't think the hover arm technique works. So don't use that if you ever get a call back for Skype. Yeah. The arm, the arm, 
The arm technique don't work. Yeah, it's uh, the that. Claw. It's like this. Claw. It's like this. It's like. Mm. Oh, you think I like this? You can't even feel it. You, just, yeah. you know it's back there, but nothing's happening. <laughs> that's what happened. So yeah, I don't think that's a strong choice on my part. Mm. I vibes ask, what is your favorite type of sushi? My favorite type of sushi, okay, so a lot of people have different preferences on sushi. Some people like really fresh rolls where it's like raw, really fresh. I like the, the, the latter where it's like a combination of fresh and like something deep fried in the middle. Like I like crunchy, I like texture, I like fresh and texture. So if you give me both of those things, I love it. So if it's like tuna with lemon and there's spicy stuff, I mean there's crunchy stuff and it's spicy, that's what I like. So like a spicy, crunchy tuna roll kind of thing, that's what I like. Question answer. Audrey asks, what was your favorite food growing up? Candy, restaurant, lunch, or whatever. Oh wow, it is looking good, dang. My favorite food growing up and right now still, to this day, is ribs. Ribs is life. Ribs, short baby back ribs are my favorite food ever, ever, ever. And I, what's funny is I've never actually made it. I think I just real, had a realization of something in my head. Um, so for things I really absolutely love, if you haven't noticed, I don't really do for myself. Like I don't really share, I guess, on my YouTube especially. Like, like I love ribs, right? And yet you've never seen me made like a rib. I've never made ribs for myself because I think, I think I'm afraid I'll mess it up. I think it's just fear. Same thing with why you guys have seen in the past 30 days when I started, or the past, not 30 days, the past four months, five months since I started doing YouTube again, I haven't really acted in any like skits or vlogs or anything i think i'm afraid to showcase it i think it's just fear like me like showing you guys like like because i say i love it so much and i'm afraid of showing it i think and i'm gonna i'm gonna get over that right now i'm gonna start making more skits I, you guys have seen me do some rehearsals right you guys see me a little bit do a little bit of rehearsing with my partner so that's nothing i can show you guys some stuff but i think it's just fear i'm just telling you guys right now that's that's what that question has made me think about well, I never actually cooked ribs. I was like, wow, I actually haven't. The real Haley Bennett asks, if you weren't doing YouTube, what would you be doing? Well, first off, YouTube is like, uh, it's my stepping stone. It's my, it's my diary. It's my where I express myself. But what I actually do, what my career is, I'm an actor. I that's what I'm fully training every single day. Why I go to dance class and why I work out. You guys see me working out a lot. It's not because only because I want to look good. But it's also it's a it's a part of my acting. It's a part of me keeping my body where I need where it needs to be. And um, why I talk to you guys all the time is so I can come back and look at how am I progressing in my acting career. Am I doing enough? And I need to do more. And I need to do more, and so yes, so if I wasn't doing YouTube, if I didn't have my YouTube account, I'd still be an actor. So in some way, shape, or form. I'd still try to find a way to do it. Kai Kawai asks, do you still think you'll be creating videos in 15 years? And if film counts as a video, yeah. I think I, hopefully I'll still be in movies or television shows or everything. YouTube still will exist in 15 years so hopefully if, if everything goes as planned I I think in some way shape or form actually yeah 15 years I'll definitely be making videos still even if it's like of a kid or a dog or anything I, I think I'll always try to find a way to make a video ass he just left actually he was here a second ago he says who's the better ping pong player you or Aaron come on Aaron you know I beat you how many times now how many times now Aaron <laughs> Hey, it's Charlie Ash. If you could have any animal as a pet, what would you want? Any animal. Are you kidding me? Okay, That's so. That's a good question. Uh, wow, actually that opens it up to a lot of things. Dinosaur? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can have a dinosaur, dinosaur, you can have anything. But honestly, like, if we're thinking realistic, I'll, okay, fine, I'll give you a realistic answer and I'll give you an unrealistic answer. Realistically, in the future, what I'm gonna have is like, I'm gonna have an aquarium that's like, the size of a wall, like the wall, like it's a giant wall. If you've seen a wall, I want an aquarium that's that big and I want like everything in there. I want all sorts of fish that I can just watch in this wall and have someone clean it for me and all that. I want that, just a wall of fish. What about the non-realistic? Oh yeah, 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 I forgot. The non-realistic answer for that, I would want like a, yeah, I want like a unicorn because then you can like, no, maybe not a unicorn. That's just a cool one, I what guess. What about like a, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
Yeah, but that thing would eat me. Yeah. They'll be trying to wake you up in the morning with some short arms. <laughs> <laughs> they can't wake you up. Yeah, a Tyrannosaurus Rex that's like my maid that's trying to do the yeah. make my bed with the little <laughs> arms like this. Like, yeah, that'd be pretty funny though. All right, Jeffrey, this one's for you. Hot dogs or hamburgers? What do you want? Which one would you rather have? Only one? Mm -hmm. Hot dog or a hamburger? Mm -hmm. For the rest of your life. Cheeseburger. Okay, so yeah, cheeseburger. I got strip. Well, I love a good hot dog too. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, I love hot dogs. I mean, hot dogs are so versatile too. You can have like a Polish dog. You can have all these. I love hot dogs. But I don't like the mushy hot dogs. You like the hot dogs with a snap in it? Where it's just like pop. Like that, you know, when you bite into it, it like pops. Mm -hmm. I like that. Like the bite. That's my. But once again, just like the sushi question, I like texture. That's just what I like. Oh, you guys should also add me on Snapchat at Marlon Rar. I think the next Q and A I want to do, I'm gonna do what Casey did, where he had you guys in it, so you guys can ask the question like this, and then I'll play the question, and then I'll answer it. Yeah, I think that'd be a really cool way to do it. That's what he did. So yeah, next Q and A. So I'm gonna announce it, and I'm gonna open my Snapchat so you guys can send me whatever you want. Nothing weird, please. Just ask your question. He likes really weird stuff, please. <laughs> Alright guys, as Jeffrey's putting the finishing touches on my haircut, that is actually the end of the Q&A. Thank you guys so much for participating. You guys make me feel so loved asking all these questions and supporting me. I just want to keep this conversation going. So thank you guys so much for taking part of this Q&A. Peace. Nobody.